it's time for a little more rogue playing in Baldur's Gate 3. And just to remind myself and anyone that's watching this where we are, uh, we have recruited Shadowheart. We saved a little girl named Arabella in the Druid Grove and talked to her parents, so that's done. We have not only recruited Karlak, but we have defeated the Paladins. We recruited Lizelle and freed her from the cage. We have recruited, well, we have gone into the ruins and uh, recruited Withers. Uh, it looks from the quest log like we haven't yet talked to him in camp, but that's all right. And we escaped the Nautiloid. So these are all in some random order where it doesn't make sense. Things we got on the, on the irons. Um, Gale is the wizard we recruited and we need to move his quest forward. We have Asterion, who's another elf. He's a rogue and we've learned a few things about him. He's a vampire and he used to be a slave to the Tsar family, who are vampires. Uh, Lizelle is a Githyanki warrior and we have uh, moved her quest forward a little bit. We've talked to the, the guy locally that uh, pointed us towards where we should go to get to a crash. She thinks that's where we're going to get uh, healed. We've got Will. We have quested with Will a bit, and because we got Karlak, he got in trouble with his patron, and we have dealt with that, and Will is now a tiefling rather than a human. Um, Karlak, our uh, hell-touched barbarian who's burning hot, um, has been taken down to the blacksmith who has looked up at the engine in her heart and he needs some infernal iron. That's probably next on our docket. And Shadowheart has been uh, encountering some pains. She's been trying to hide and admitted, but says she's ignorant of it and we don't know what's going on there yet. So, bigger quests. Uh, we have been asked to try to save the, the tieflings uh, the refugees in the Druid go Grove that Karga is kicking out. And Zevlor wants us to, to intervene with that. Finally, our main quest, we still have to find the Githyanki cache, and we've moved up to the, where we are looking for the patrol. We want to rescue the Druid Halson. There's a goblin priestess which might know how to deal with our, our tadpole problem. We've already dealt with Nettie. So I think our next step is to go acquire the iron. Uh, we think we know where that is. It's on our map. We have done a whole bunch of shopping. Uh, the rogue has a pair of very nice hand crossbows. And I think our closest thing here is this hidden cache. We'll hit the hidden cache. Then we'll head over to find the infernal iron. And further off to the west, we've got rescuing the druid, asking the priestess for help. This looks like these are going to be the same area, so we may not be able to get help from the priestess after we rescued the druid. And then up here we've got the Githyanki. So it's onward down to the hidden cache. I'm going to start by jumping out of the Emerald Grove down towards where we're going. And just to make sure we know where we are. We've got Lightfoot Halfling Rogue with good dexterity and two crossbows and two short swords. Our cleric, um, I have respect her into life domain, so she is all set to heal like crazy, and she's got her spiritual weapon in case somebody wants to attack her. Got a good crossbow and a good mace. Will's our warlock, and he is using the Everburn blade that we got in the prologue as his, um, what do you call it, um, packed weapon. Speaking of which, I need to bind that weapon. There we go. So you notice his weapon is now plus three instead of worse. Uh, he doesn't have a terribly good bonus on the Everburn blade, but it does a lot of damage. Mostly Will is gonna be doing um, range damage. Now this is a great blade, but 
I decided, at least for now, that Carlac would continue to use the sword of justice. And it, it's very probable that I will swap those off. Uh, the reason why I put the sword of justice on Carlac is it allows her to use tears prote protection on someone. Tears protection is a concentration spell, so if Will is wielding the sword of justice and uses tears protection on someone, it means he cannot sustain his hex. So, we're keeping him separate for now. Uh, Carlac is our tiefling. And she's wearing a locket that gives her dancing lights to work with. And she does a lot of damage. And basically, she's Carlac. What can I say? As far as loot goes in the party, um, let's consolidate our gold. Not a lot of gold left. We keep spending it. Uh, we're carrying a few extra items here and there, but not much. Everybody has a potential source of light. And I believe, yeah, Will is still, uh, his race is still human for all intents and purposes. So he doesn't have dark vision, uh, even though he really is looking like a, a devil or a tiefling. Approval ratings look decent. So onward to the secret stash. It's over here. Kind of this way. Leading with Carlac for now, because if we come on something we need to smash up, she's good at it. Whoops. So on our mini map, we see that there's this area we can jump up to here. And it is entirely possible that my halfling may not be able to make the jump. Oh, there we go. So according to the map that we picked up uh, under that rock early on in the game, there should be a... Still breathing, despite everything. Should be a hidden cache up here somewhere. Oh, some herbs. Never turn down herbs. Ah, there's the hidden cache right there on the map. So what we've got here looks like a camp. Oh, goodness. A stranger. What manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Uh, he's... He kind of rubs me the wrong way. Um, am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Come. 
So if somebody teleports you to some place completely different uh, without your consent, somewhere. is that kidnapping? I think I'm going to be a little pissed off at him. And deny you the honor of my hospitality? This is the house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. That sounds like a threat. Let's get him to cut to the chase. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. I need to take off that hat. It's just not right. Okay, so he's a devil. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior. That's for certain. Okay. I uh, don't like this, but I'm not going to draw my weapon on somebody that can teleport the entire party. Um, why, would you, why would you help me? My compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. So, yeah, dealing with the devil, bad idea. And what is madness? Everybody approves. A denial Good. of reality. Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair. That's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Okay, I'm not gonna threaten this guy, but I'm gonna make it clear we are not dealing, doing a deal. By all means, bite the hand that feeds you, while you still have teeth. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay, a well, first step. Get rid of the hat. <clears throat> Second thing is we need to find the hidden cache up here. A couple of health potions, that's good already. Silver pennant, which gives guidance. Necklace matches the sigil in the cave. The Harpers have been busy. Okay, so who do I want to have the ability to cast Guidance? Um, Shadowheart can do it already as a cantrip. Someone else that can concentrate. Um, yeah, let's put Speak to the Dead Amulet on Will. My main character will have guidance available from a cantrip, so we could, in theory, keep two characters under guidance at once. And I am going to move that over to here. Is that where I put it? Yeah. Oh, 
And she's had some weapon changes, so... That reminds me, let's check and make sure our bars are set. Yep, it was just Shadowheart that was wrong. So I now have the ability to use Guidance. Could. Could you imagine coming into this game or any other D&D game and not have a source of Guidance? Ah. something going on over there. Well, first of all, grab guidance before I look in. The back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chicken squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Hmm, bag with a coin. That's probably the stash, I'm guessing. Some spiders have moved in. I've got Guidance, Intelligence, DC 10, Decent Chance. Ooh, just barely. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Let's see. Animal handling is plus one, plus one D4. Rogue sleight of hand is much better. Let's use sleight of hand. Take a look at what we got here. Carlac is inspired. Well, that's good. That's actually the, the real benefit there is that inspiration point. So inside here we have a spider egg sack that can be thrown and some gold. Um, I never really throw anything. I'm gonna try throwing this. And it's a crag spider. Oh my, look at this. Many crag spiders that are our companions. Well, that's kind of cool. I wonder how long they stay with me. Just the one spider egg, though. So I think that was it. Um, made kind of a mess. Let's send somebody back up to, to clear it out. Somebody with fire. Hey, Kerlac will... Okay, so Shadowheart's gonna go take care of business. Never a dull moment. What path lies before me? The pride of the gate. What a charmer. See if I can get all of the spiders out of the area. My face protects me. Um so the spiders are not following me, and if they don't follow me, they're really not going to be any good. So, burned it all and nothing exposed. So I guess that's the extent of the cache. Hmm. 
and the spiders aren't following. Oh well. So the next step is to get the infernal iron. Exsanguinated boar. Hmm. Wish I had a bag of holding. There's some people over here. Need to make sure to hit F5 now and then. Not like that. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Okay, so freeze and hold up my hands, ask them what happened. I can do a medicine check or I can go with one of those illithid wisdom checks. I can only get one source of guidance at a time, okay. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite rides in your head. Mm. Your minds intertwine. A show of power for the things Andric and Brenna. Andric and Brenna. Yours to shepherd. Followers? Protect them. Companions? Mine. Peons? So. Porters? She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Mm. Okay, let's find out some more about the Absolute. What? Are you, are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Weren't the goblins Please. worshipping the Absolute? Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. Okay, I'm going to see if I can string these guys along and find out some more. You have more to learn of our faith, novice. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. What happened to your brother? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear, an angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. So he said the ship crashed west of here. That's not the ship we came in on, was it? Because the ship we came in on is kind of southeast. Hmm... We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. Well, that's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Absolute sounds like a baddie. So I can either send them to go attack the owlbear, 
or send them back to wherever they go. Um, I'm just going to send them back to their camp. Maybe well, it'll be good for them to be semi-friends. Shadow art proves good. I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on, find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. They spoke of the absolute, same as that goblin Saza. Curious. That's what I was thinking. Looks like the Absolute's drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive, in a way. By the Sundering, the Parasite allows us to influence others. Taking away the free will of others could be a gift or a curse in disguise. A power born of Elithids might be dangerous in the wrong hands, but valuable in ours. Shadowheart's not so sure. A power born of Illithids is not one to take lightly. Its value is unproven, and it, she did not voice that one. It's a powerful talent. Use it, but use it wisely. Hmm. Okay. Now let's see what's on the corpse. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Oh, really? Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Okay, so I can welcome the influence, or resist it with strength, or resist it with wisdom. I think I want to see if I can make use of the Illithid powers. So I now have a Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen, which I could consume. I think I'm going to hold off consuming any of those until I figure a little more out about how to do this. I'm wondering if leaves, I was raised in the city, hot beater. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than the grass and the fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like all these gates, is there? Nothing in my recollection anyway. The cave. Uh, let's see here. We are just barely into level three. Um, I think I am going to come back for the owl bear at some point. But we're getting kind of off track. I need to head up to the left. Probably should have headed over the bridge instead of coming over here. Let's head back toward the bridge and see what's up. So we already came through here once and looted everything. We got to here. 
and we've got a we can go around to the south we've been around to the north yes we go in Okay, so we detected these the last time we were here, which is why we didn't do another roll. Let's you talk. Us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows. Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh. So I'm going to take the persuasion check. So I could have used my illithid power there. I think that's the first time I've seen that in any of my playthroughs. So we've got advantage, I've got a whole bunch of pluses, DC 15, five to eight bonus. We have a good chance at this. Not that I think I would have any problem with killing these goblins. I mean, it might be a challenge, but I could oh, do it. Suppose it's best I wouldn't feel bad about it. For a real threat. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. Now, this probably means I can't just freely loot the entire thing. So this is the Blighted Village. And we came here specifically for the iron, which shows up as being in there. So let's F5, because we have access to the village, possibly limited. See, you're asking a rogue to do a lockpick to get that whole row of stuff. Haste Helm. So at start of combat, where gains momentum for three turns, which is uh, movement speed increased by five feet per remaining duration of the effect. So 15, then 10, then five. And that sounds like something I want to put on my barbarian so that she can get into position to smack things around early. Okay, so there's the, ma the move lid marker. We'll use it to come back here later. So for right now, what I really want to do is get into where it says this iron is. So what I'll do is I will tend to use guidance on myself from the amulet and reserve my cleric's guidance for anybody else in the party doing something. Okay, so let's see. Uh, do I want to do major looting? I think I'm going to defer looting this town until later. Let's just get that iron back to the blacksmith. Watch yourself. I spy a trap. A uh, trap. Let's disarm it. So I'm curious. 
when we failed the check, failed the perception check, I did get a plus four from guidance. So guidance is being used for the passive checks. In there, there are some blueprints. So great sword, sickle, and dagger. They need susser bark. Weapon blueprints. They call for susser bark. So the metal wasn't in there. Place I'm finding the susser tree, the underdark. Okay, so when we get to the underdark, that's what we're looking for. There's a chest lockpick. So there's Infernal Iron and a second sword. Cool. Infernal Metal! This can help Damon patch up my engine. Okay, and the other thing we can do is drop this sword on my offhand to get me better attack and, and damage. So let's just head back to town. Mm. The feeling I've gotten from Carlac is that <clears throat> her um, infernal engine problems are kind of important. And we can come back and deal with the village later. This also gives us a chance to consider selling off some of our junk. <clears throat> we may have some junk in camp to get rid of too. Black is going to talk with him. How fast the search? Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it and that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. I think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... ...changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat... I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. 
And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Okay, so hold on to the infernal iron. And talk to him in Baldur's Gate. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down. It did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. So she said less changeable. I wonder if that means that she won't go off the rails and burning things up at the end of fights. Do you want to? I'd like that. Now, let's find that infernal iron before I overheat. Okay, so I still have these spiders marked as my companions, even though they are nowhere to be seen. Okay, let's head back to camp and do the loot thing. First off, is anybody carrying anything? I think I can get rid of her barbarian clothes. The rest of this is all normal. Take all, and let's see, by weight, by value, and then by type. So things I want to leave in camp, mind flare parasites, dark mind, <clears throat> um, anything that's owned by Halson, notes that are important. I think the Harper's map and notebook go away. Blacksmith's note I can sell off now. You know, I'm going to get rid of the hats. I'm not much of a hat person, apparently. Great Axe plus one. Um, Carlac might not be... Well, no, no, Carlac and Will both have really great weapons. I'm still going to hold on to that. Uh, I think I will go ahead and sell my scrolls. So I'm marking things that go into the box. Uh, we haven't talked, so I want to keep on me. I think that's all the things I want to just dump in the box. So not a lot of stuff to sell. Let's take a look at this. Uh, these are all just going to be marked as wares. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell the scrolls. I never remember to use po scrolls and potions and stuff like that. So is there anybody with a pressing need to talk? Nope. This is ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> Looking for steam. I have, well, something close. First off, does he have anything I want to purchase? Eventually, a second plus one crossbow wouldn't go amiss. I wonder if she can use that warhammer. Nope. Oh, shield. 
She's got a studded shield. She could use a safeguard shield. That's not, not too expensive. Let's do this. There. Better shield. Saving throw plus one. Same armor class. But nice effect. It's too bad that backpacks don't extend your carry weight. Yeah, let's go let's check the other guy. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember, you're not the only one in need. He keeps saying that like it's going to make a difference. Okay, so sell wares. And what does he have that might be interesting? He's got all the scrolls I've sold to him. Uh, this might come in handy if Gale needs to absorb magic. See, he want, Gale's going to want magic items. I believe I've already given him one item in this playthrough. Not every magic item is marked like that, though. And some of the ones that I really like are. So I could get in a situation where the only items he'll accept are ones that I really don't want to get rid of. Okay, I think we're done here. <clears throat> I wish I had more stuff to sell to him. Sylvanas be with you. Okay, so Rain Dancer can go back in the camp. We're carrying the toxin in case we start to change. Healing potions, revivify, shovel. Torches, tools, I think we're good. <clears throat> Shadow Heart is well set up. Will looks like he's doing good. What's the story? And you know, I think before I go do anything else, I'm going to break the recording and go think for a bit because we're going to need to loot the Blighted Village do some exploration, eventually get out to where we're dealing with Halson and the Githyanki. And I'm not really in a hurry. So, I will take a break. Um, let's do a long rest in camp so we are safe, or we are fresh, the start of the next recording. Uh, Will wants to, Gail wants to talk. Let's get that sacrificial item out of the box. I had no idea it was going to be so soon. So it's the rain dancer we want to give him. We probably could give him that, uh, that axe as well. Drop down a save in case I have completely got this wrong. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... Miles away. No, no. She's no one, really. I was just practicing an incantation. That's a lie. See here, I get the bonus because I'm wearing the, the uh, 
Neck piece. DC5. So, not a difficult check anyway. What can I say? She's... She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Um... Sure, why not? Then follow my lead. Now you. So let's see, sleight of hand or arcana or performance. I'm going to imitate the gesture with sleight of hand. Not difficult. Consider I had a plus seven just from my proficiencies. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kandrak Eo. So intelligence, arcana, or performance. Uh, I think arcana. Again, easy difficulty class. Almost didn't make it though. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Let's see. You got history? Or nature? Or an insight? A performance? Concept of harmony. I think performance. <clears throat> All of these DC5 checks kind of do add up. What what happens if you miss one of them? see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman, the woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Oh, I know. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, 
and Gale will know it. Okay, I am not looking for a romance in this game. I... I didn't think... You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. <clears throat> that was interesting. I think everyone else is good for the evening, so let's cycle the clock. Do we have enough booze to do this one totally on booze? Do not. I actually already have the achievement for that one. Okay. And with that done, I am going to finally cut the recording and take a break.